Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Jose Nicole here. And we're back with another video, sweetie, cause I'm dead free. I am dead free, honey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I am dead free, y'all. I was dead free yesterday and it was what? September the... Yesterday I was officially out of over $20,000 in debt. And that's just an overall amount. I didn't pay that like, I didn't pay the 20,000 like in one swoop. So don't just think I just like paid it all off. It was a process, but yesterday was my last payments of paying everybody off. Um, and I feel really, really good. Like I can't even express to you guys the feeling. So with that being said, Welcome to my channel. I'm Jose Nicole and I'm a fashion and lifestyle influencer here on YouTube and Instagram. I will have my links in the description so that you guys can follow me there. Um, I do a lot of fashion posts. I'm very, very active on my Instagram, so follow me on there. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified when I do upload and post so that you don't miss out. So we're gonna get into this video. I need you guys to first of all, grab your coffee, your water, your tea, whatever kind of drink floats your boat, get that. Because this is gonna be a little long video, but we got the time today, y'all. Who doesn't wanna listen to a debt-free video and how people got out of debt, what they learned, mistakes, stupid stuff. So we're gonna get into that. First things first. I was in over $20,000 in debt, credit card debt collections. I don't even know. I was in so much debt. <laughs> I can't believe myself. I just still can't believe that I was in that much debt. Like, what the heck, man? So, we're gonna start fresh on to like how it all started what I learned and all these stupid mistakes that I made. And I'm also gonna get into how you're able to get out of debt and what you shouldn't do and what you should do so that you can get out of debt. Um, so we're gonna get into this video because I feel really, really good and I'm very, very happy. It's the first day that I, it's like the first day that I really sunk into me. And I cried a few times yesterday already because I just am very, very happy. Um, because now I feel like my life can actually start moving and progressing now that I'm out of debt. So we're gonna first start with my life. So turning 18, I turned 18, I first got my Kohl's card when I was 18 and I used that card so that I could build my credit. So I started using that card, I was like using it, I was paying it off and then it got to a point where like, I ended up missing a payment. So I missed a payment and when I missed that payment, it like lowered my credit score a lot. I was so upset. Like at that time I was so upset. Mind you, I wasn't even working like a real good job. Like I was just getting paid like, like a regular person would get paid. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I, my credit was really bad. And then I ended up getting a new job. And at that time I got the new job and I was in school. Well, I was already in school, in college. And then I ended up getting that new job. So I was getting paid way more than I was getting paid before. And so I decided that now that I'm getting paid, I wanna get my credit to be good. Like I have plans, you guys. I have plans on getting a condo, getting my Jeep. Like this was years ago. So this is like nothing new. It might be new to you because you're just now seeing me. You probably just met me, but I've always had the plans of getting a condo and getting my Jeep. I've always wanted my Jeep as a young kid. I've always wanted a condo as a young kid. It's just always been on my list and on my vision boards. Um, so the plan was to build my credit so that I can get a condo, so that I can get my car, all these things. I decided to get the credit card, my mom told me. So first of all, my mom, my parents, they're really good with money, finances, they're investors. So they know how to work money, they know about money, they know what to do and what not to do. 
I listened to my mom. I really heard her. Trust me. I really, really listened. But I ended up doing the opposite of what she said to do. <laughs> she was telling me, this is what you should do so that you do not get into that predicament. She was telling me, Jose, you got to be careful with this credit card because it's very, very easy for you to fall into that trap. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Let me just speak up about this. Don't say you're not going to do something because nine times out of 10, it usually always happens. You'll end up doing something that you said you're not going to do. People will say that all the time, but it's like you don't know until you're into that situation or you're in that predicament. You can say all day, that's not going to be me. I'm not going to do that. This is what I would do. Until you're in that position, you don't know. Like you're just basically telling yourself, tricking yourself like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you might not end up doing it, but you just don't know until you're in that position. I heard my mom and I was like, OK, so what I started doing was doing the. I started off doing everything right. You guys, I built up my credit score. I was at 690. That was the last time that I was at 690 was when I was doing good by my money. I was paying off my credit cards. I was I was spending my credit cards, but I already had the money. So every time the bill would come, I would pay it right off. And then. Um, I didn't use my credit card for just anything. Like it was just like, if I knew I was building my credit, I would always have the money so that when the bill would come, I would pay it off. I did not do the minimum payment type of thing. I would literally spend it. When the bill came, I paid it off. I built up my credit so well. And I was like, okay, I'm almost in the 700 club. That was good because I was like, I'm working my way up. And I was only, I had to be like 19. 19, 19, 20. Then I decided I was going to get a car because the car that was paid off that I had no car payment with. Mind you, I wasn't even in no debt during that time. I was like, I was cool. The only thing that I did um, have to pay for was school. So I was coming out the pocket paying for school every month. That was fine. That was whatever. But I didn't have like no credit card debt. I didn't owe people money or nothing like that. So I decided I was going to get a car. Cause this car basically kind of just died or whatever. So I had to get a new car, got the new car, got it to where like my payments were, were doable. Like it wasn't like breaking the bank or anything like that. I was able to get the car, refinanced the car. And, um, so my payments were even lower, refinanced it, payments was lower. I was cool. <sighs> but then, I think this is what really, really, really tipped everything off. I decided to quit my job. I decided to quit my job in 2017. Mind you, I was, I was saving my money. I had a savings account. My savings account was growing. The plan was for me to pay my Jeep in cash. I, I was basically working so that I could get this Jeep. Um, and, I mean, saving my money and working so that I could get this Jeep. So I could pay it in cash, because that's the plan I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna be paying my Jeep in cash. So I was working on that. And when I had to get this car, I like was like, bruh. So I basically had to get the car. I did not use my savings to buy the car. Um, I should have. I should have just did that, but I didn't. So I ended up just still having my little savings <laughs> while paying on the car payment when I could have just paid the thing off. So. That was that or whatever. And decided, okay, I was doing that, making payments. I was still paying on my car, still paying my car, still making my, uh, still paying myself for my savings. Then I decided to quit my job in 2017. Quit my job in 2017. And I decided that like I was going to pursue other things. And so I started pursuing other things. And I basically became like a freelancer. I was doing just different jobs. Like I was just doing anything that I was good at, I was making money doing it. And then someone told me to drive for Lyft. And I was like, Lyft? So I was like, when I seen how much this person was making from Lyft, like they actually showed me. And I was like, bruh, that's way more money than I'm making over here. Like that's like triple the amount of money that I was making. And I know like with Lyft, it can vary. Like it's not a consistent thing. But what I would tell you, God always provided for me. Like there was days that I would go out like, and I would be making over $500 in a day. Like, and I wouldn't even be out for that long. And it was just like, I was racking in money. 
but I can't, I got nothing to show for it because I had to pay all my bills. I had to pay my debt. I was spending money on food, going out. So during the time that I was saving my money, doing right by my money, I was shopping a lot. Like I was just always shopping. And I remember my mom was saying like, you always got packages coming to this house. Like you need to start saving your money. You need to stop spending so much money on clothes. Like y'all, I was a shopaholic. I'm gonna be honest, I was a shopaholic. I spent, spent, spent. But let me tell you this, God humbled me. Okay, it's getting hot up in here. God humbled me because I have not been shopping. Like going from a shopaholic to not shopping is a big step. God humbled me and I was not shopping. I haven't been shopping, like shopping, shopping in over three years. Um, and I'm still shocked that I, I mean, the thing was, is I didn't have the finances to just go shopping because why I had debt that I needed to pay. Why would I go and be shopping and having a good old jolly time when you know you got debt? So I was actually doing that though. So 2017, I ended up getting the job for Lyft. I ended up driving, I was making all this money. But when I got out of the job, I racked up $3,000 on my credit card. Well, they ended up giving me more money to spend, the credit company, the credit card company. They ended up giving my line of credit more. So it started off at 500, then it started getting 1,000. Then it was like 2,000, it was like 3,000. Fourth, it just kept going up and up and up and up. So I ended up racking up $3,000 on my credit card. And uh, mind you, I quit my job. And then I had just started driving for Lyft. So I decided that I'm gonna use my savings to pay off my credit card debt. So I did, I paid it off and I was good. Did not touch it, I was like, bro, I'm not using this credit card no more. Like I cannot do it. I'm not trying to be in debt. It's just too stressful. Like I can literally drive Lyft, making this money, I can rack up my savings and get the things that I want. Boy, do I tell you, you have lots of dreams, things that you want to do, and it's very, very easy for you to not follow through with it. Like, you can get sucked in quick. The credit, the credit card is a devil. I'm sorry. It's of the devil, and it can get you quick if you do not have self-control, y'all. That was that. I paid that off. Then... I ended up racking it. I don't even know how it got back up. Like, I don't even, I can't even tell you how the credit card got back up to that much debt. I would have to go back through my, my uh, history and see what was I spending money on because I just don't understand how I can have over, over this amount of money on this credit card. Like, what was I spending? Like, I have nothing to show for. Wh where's the stuff that I spent the money on? Wh where's the, where's, hello? I have nothing to show for you guys. And it's just, it's, it's sad. I could have just been way further than I am now. I would have been already moved out. I would have had my dream car, which is my Jeep. Well, by now I probably would have had my G-Wagon. But I would have my Jeep, my place to live, just living the dream that I wanna live. That's my dream. Suck back into that credit card again. I racked up again, over a certain amount, like, thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> the funny thing is is my mom didn't even know how much money i had used on my credit card and when i told her how much i ended up telling her before i was about to pay everything off i told her i was like she's like well how much debt are you in in your for your credit card and i was like this much she was like Jose and I was like I know I know like it's embarrassing you guys I'm good I'm good about talking about it now because it's over and done with um because I hate I'm dead free honey <laughs> but it's embarrassing because it's like my to me it's disrespectful to my parents because they've taught me well they taught me what to do and I literally just went the opposite way but it happens you guys it happens but here's the thing you got to learn how to get past it and push forward and move forward. So that was that. So I ended up traveling a lot um, in 2018. I was traveling, well 2017, 18 I think it was, we were traveling a lot. So I ended up getting, um, I ended up going, re getting rushed to the hospital because I had an asthma attack. We ended up going into this hotel, something was in that room and it triggered my asthma and I had to get rushed to the emergency. So with that being said, that was another bill.
here we are we got another bill another bill you guys thank god my insurance was able to cover half of it but i still owe a heck of money though like and so was that and then i never paid it so it went to collections y'all oh uh, i know y'all probably like girl what is wrong with you it went to collections ended up going to collections <sighs> i was just dealing with a lot of stuff you guys like I I was definitely just going through stuff during that time. I was dealing with a lot of rejection, anger. It's not an excuse, but like, I I was just a different person during those times. I would just say that. I was just a different person. And so that was that bill. Um, and then after that, I ended up getting um, into a car crash and totaled my car. So they totaled me out and basically got rid of the whole loan. So I was like, thank you, Jesus. Like, I don't owe nothing. Da, da, da. But you all know I drive for Lyft. You have to continue to make money. Like I was doing other things, but Lyft was really like the big chunk of my income. And so um, I was like, okay, I got to get a car. I got to get a car. Like, And I was not trying to get another car because you guys know why. My credit score was jacked because I owed... I owed so much money. I was using more than 30% of my of my line of credit. Like I base I basically so basically you guys, I maxed out my credit card. Like to the max of the max. And they already had gave me a lot of line of credit. So I maxed out my credit card and I was like paying the minimum payments. There was times where I started well, well there was like one year I was paying like I started paying on it um like i'll pay on the the due date then the next week i'll pay another amount of money then the next week i'll pay another amount of money so i was starting to get my credit card back down <sighs> then racked it back up again then started paying so it was just like it was just a, a ongoing thing like i just kept like paying it down then it going back up paying it down going back up mind you my credit card interest rate was at 25 percent 25% you guys I needed another car I was leasing a car I was like renting a car whatever for like some weeks I think actually a, uh, over a month I was renting a car so now that I needed a new car I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to get a, a good car with a low amount of um, a low monthly payment because of my credit score I already knew it like I would there was just no way so I had to Humble myself, I had to really just step out my comfort and ask my mom for some money. I did not want to do this because I already knew she was going to ask me like, well, why don't you have money? Like, how, you're, you're working. Like, she knew I was making a lot of money and live. So I, I knew she was probably like, why, why do you need to borrow money? I was like, mom, I need to borrow like, like thousands of dollars. Because I need a new car. <laughs> my mom had to think about it. Like, she didn't tell me yes right away. She was just like, I don't know, Jose. Like, I don't know. Because you're you're going to have to pay me. You're going to have to pay. Like, my parents are the type of people that, like, when you're grown, you're grown. If you weren't grown, then it would be a different story. But, like, you're grown. You need to be responsible. Like, she, she's always, her and my dad have always taught me how to be responsible how to pay people back, how to save, how to do good by your money. And it was kind of like, if I was already racking up my stuff, already not paying people back, it's kind of like, I know she was probably wondering like, is this girl gonna pay me back? So basically we had to just like, we had a whole contract or whatever for me to get this amount of, certain amount of money so that I can get this car. I needed to get a car that is good on gas, that I won't have to spend a lot of money on gas, that will last. So my mom basically was like, yes, I'll give you the certain amount of money so that you can get your car. So, I ended up getting the money, got the car. I now, I already had maxed out my credit card, y'all. I had that debt collections from the, the hospital and I owed my mama thousands and thousands of dollars like I had owed my parents money. So that's already that, you guys. Then my phone broke. My phone broke and I needed to like, 
Oh my gosh, I don't like saying this stuff. It's just getting long. My phone broke and somebody else loaned me money to get a new phone and the phone was over a thousand dollars. I needed it because I was driving Lyft. And I know y'all probably wondering like, well you said you was making heck of money doing Lyft. Like where did, the... don't even ask me, I don't know. I don't even know where all the money went. Like all the money I was making, I don't know where it went. It was basically going to bills, you guys. Like it was literally going to bills. I had stopped. I had stopped eating out. I had stopped getting buying um, buying food and buying clothes. Like I had stopped doing that. Like I would go every once in a while, but I had stopped doing that so that I could start paying off my debt. 2019, I decided that I'm 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 done. I'm done being in this debt. I'm done with owing people money and I'm done. Like I was just so over it. I was just stressed, always stressed. Like just think about being stressed for that long from all of the, those times of having like just debt. Like it's stressful. Every day I would wake up and knowing that I had to owe someone money. So I basically decided in 2019, like I'm gonna start working on my debt. Like I cannot, like I'm getting older. I'm about to be 25. Like <clears throat> I'm trying to get a place. I'm trying to get my Jeep. Like, I cannot continue. How am I going to get a spot when I'm in debt? Over oh, 20 grand in debt. Like, how is that even possible? Like, why would you even try to go get places and get all these things when you know you're in debt? Why are you going on vacation? Why are you spending money on clothes and shoes and hair and all this stuff when you know you're in debt? Like, it doesn't make sense, you guys. It doesn't make sense. And I'm telling you right now, you're very, very foolish if you know you have money that you owe people and you're spending your money on other things that you don't need. And so I decided that I wasn't going to go shopping no more, that I was just going to pay off my debt. So I have not been shopping fast, like clothes. I haven't went shopping for clothes in over three years. And y'all probably like, how, how, how? Okay, yes, I'll go get, get like maybe a pair of shoes or something or like maybe two shirts, but that's really not like how I used to be. I would go and buy like, I will spend over $300 on clothes when I would go shopping. The fact that I didn't have to, the fact that I did not spend no money and I was just paying off bills, that was how I was able to get out of debt, y'all. I was, I stopped going, doing shopping. I stopped going out to eat. I stopped wasting money. I stopped spending stuff on stupid things. Like I remember telling my fiance, like, um, what did I tell him? So the plan is we were supposed to get married next year in March, which the, the, the whole wedding thing is off because of COVID and just, it's just a lot of stuff going on with this COVID and all this stuff. So we're not playing, unless things change, it's different. If things change, it might still be next year. We don't even know, we're just chilling right now. But the thing is, is that we were supposed to get married next year. We both were like, all right, we gotta stop spending money. because. We were literally spending money on stupid stuff. Like me and him, we were going out to eat a lot. We were going here, going there, spending money, driving here. Like we were just spending so, and, and I think what made it worse was I was in a relationship. In a relationship, you spend even more money, you guys. Like you're spending way more money in a relationship. <sighs> 2019, we decided, well, 2018, ending of 2018, we decided that we're gonna stop spending unnecessary money. We're not gonna go shopping. We're not gonna spend nothing. Every every ounce of money that we got, we were we were gonna pay our debt, and that is basically how I was able to get out of debt. I literally would all the money like I didn't have money to go like mind you guys. Yeah, you might see me out and about with friends and like stuff like that. There was times where people would spend their money on me or whatever. Say like, oh no, I got you. Like you know, it's good. Like I'll pay for it. like. Thank God for, for good friends and family members that, that paid my way and stuff. But I didn't even have money to like, to go do stuff because I was literally putting all my money to bills. And I knew that, like, it wasn't like, oh, I just didn't have the money. No, my money was going to my debt because I had a plan. The plan was to get out of debt this year so that we can get married next year. Why would we get married if we're both in debt? Why would we get married if we have all this debt behind us? We're going to always forever be stressed. And that messes relationships up when you're financially like in debt, like when you are in debt. And so we both decided, nope, this year we're, we're not. We're going to take it easy. <clears throat> it didn't feel good, you guys. I'm going to just be honest. It didn't feel good. 
I didn't like the fact that people were going on vacations, having good times, going out to eat with their friends, spending money, going shopping. Like, do you all not know the feeling of me just seeing people going shopping, going in stores, buying stuff, and I'm like over here don't have the finances because I'm paying my debt off. But look now though, who has the last laugh? Why are all these people out here spending their money on, on these clothes and on these vacations and all of that? I am now debt free. So now if I want to go and spend money, which I am, I'm going to go and treat myself and I am redoing my whole, I'm starting over my whole closet. I can do that because I'm debt free and there's no guilt behind me. There's no guilty like thing of like, oh, well, you don't have the money. Like, you know, you owe this person this money. Like, you know, you owe that person that money. Like, I can't even express to you guys, you have to get a wrap on yourself. You really do. Having clothes, having the fanciest car, having this, having designer that, that does not matter when you are in debt. You're not the it if you're in debt. Why are you spending your money when you know you owe people money? Like, it just does not make logical sense. It doesn't make sense, y'all. I'm telling you, you gotta get a wrap on yourself. You gotta get a wrap on your whole life and really, Look at yourself and say, why, why are you still spending money when you know you owe people money? So that's basically what I did to get out of debt. I told myself, I'm not living like this no more. I, I have to change my life. And that's, and I feel like too, like God, God is awesome because I started working on myself. I started trying to mature. Like I just started getting very, very mature. That's just basically what it was. I started getting mature. I started seeing that the life that I wanted that other people were living. And I'm like, bruh, this person got this. This person got that. And it's like, dang, like I could have been there. And it was like that thing of, see, if only you would have, if only, don't even go there. Okay, if only nothing. Like, what about now? What's now? What can you do now? So, how do you plan to get debt free? First of all, you need to see how much debt you have. You need to see what's your income. If you can get a side job, anything, you need to just really come up with a game plan. My game plan was getting rid of the smallest debts first because it, it, it just goes faster and that's just the way to do it. Get rid of your smaller debts first. If you got $200 in debt, pay that off. Now move on to the next smaller debt and then start tackling the other debts. And it's like, and I was doing all of that. And it's been a it's been a long time coming, y'all. I've been doing paying my debt for years now. <laughs> but I can say now I'm debt free. But if you are in debt and you feel like you are stressed out, you don't know what to do, how to get by, why is this happening? Why do I feel like this? Like <sighs> I was just there, you guys. I know the feeling, I know the pain, but I feel like social media gets people messed up because people start looking at other people's lives and they start comparing and start feeling like they want to do that, knowing that they owe people money. The best thing to do is pay your debt off because now when you got your debt paid off, now you have more money. You're basically spending all of your future money paying your debt. My advice is don't do all the things that I just told you. <laughs> how I was spending my money, how I was racking up the debt, how I was spending my credit cards, I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Only spend the money on your credit card if you know you already have the money so that when the bill comes back, you can pay it off. Don't spend money when you don't have it. The best thing for you to do right now is, is pay off your debt. Work on paying it off. If it's gonna take two years, it doesn't matter because right when it happens, you're gonna feel so much better and now you can really live your life and now you can actually start accomplishing these goals. Now you can do what you want to do. But until then, you need to pay your debt. You just need to pay your debt. And that is my debt story, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this long story time um, that you, <laughs> Y'all, I this is just embarrassing. Like, this is very, very embarrassing, but I'd rather talk to you guys and just be real about it. Yes, it's a long video, but I wanted to just really express to you guys and give you guys a whole story on how I got in debt 
and how I was able to get out of debt. Yeah, it took me some years to get out of debt, but look at now though, I'm debt free at 25. And now I can start planning my life and what I actually have planned to do. So it's like, that was really what was holding me back was the debt. How can I pro progress in life when I have debt? How can you buy this and buy that when you have debt? So it's just like, I wanted to tell you guys my story and just how happy I am. Very proud of myself because I'm maturing. I'm getting, I'm being an adult. I'm 25. It's time to grow up. It's time to get rid of debt. It's time to start really living my dream life. I'm, I'm having my dream life. It's coming to pass. Like God is, is working in me and he's working around me. He's setting everything up so that I can get my Jeep so that I can get my loft. He's literally setting all this up for me and I'm so, so excited and I'm so happy that I'm debt free. And that is my debt free story. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed this story time. If you guys want me to go a little bit more in depth as in like how I planned out um, more of the details, comment down below. Um, if you would like to see that, give me a thumbs up so that I know if you guys are wanting to see that and then I can do like basically like a part two or whatever on how how to um, start planning on being debt free. I can do that. I am not a money person. Like I'm not, I know a lot about money, but I'm not like a financial like advisor. So do not try to come for me. I am not certified. I did not go to school for that, but I will just tell you how I did it. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, you guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on my socials. Everything will be in the description below. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. It's Jose Nicole signing out. Peace out, y'all. Ciao. In the Ooh. Mm -hmm.